Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about golf games for the GBA. Aspen Final Round Golf 2002 is the US version of Konami's Golf Master Japan Golf Tour. The two games are the same in gameplay. The difference between the two is that they have different player names. The US version has real life US golfers and the Japanese version has real life Japanese golfers in the game. The games have a decent array of game modes, you get tournament, stroke, match play and training. In the single player tournament mode, you take one of the 14 pros through the game's 5 different tournaments in linear order. The stroke mode lets up to 4 players compete in an 18 hole game. The match play mode is played in 2, it's a 2 player affair. And what is nice about the game is that you can play the multiplayer part both on the same GBA, so as a local multiplayer or if you have a friend with a GBA and a copy of the same game you can play the game using the cable link and I really like it that it has local multiplayer the controls are easy to pick up just like the game in general it's easy to breeze through the game and I like the nice little details even if the game isn't one of the best looking GBA games it still has style that makes it look likable Tiger Woods PGA Tour Golf tries to be a port of the PC game. And you can see that. It has elements that remind you of the PC version, especially the animations. The only problem is, it doesn't offer nearly as much content. The game has only one curse. But at least there are 12 pro golfers in the game. There is a challenge mode to give more purpose to the game. And the game also has battery save. I don't recommend the game. It feels more like a demo than a real game. The gameplay is passable, but the content is just too scarce to be worth getting the game. But Tiger Woods PGA Tour Golf 2004 changes that. It offers 5 curses, but even if it improves one part, you get only half the golfers. If the previous game had 12 golfers, here you get only 6. But on the good side, the game now has a career mode. It isn't interesting nor long, but hey, it gives more purpose to the game aside of the challenge mode. There are 12 different scenarios from where you have to win. That's the challenge mode. And it's nice that you can transfer your money earned in the GBA version to your GameCube version, if you have both versions, if you have the game both on GBA and on GameCube. Also in the game there is no power bar anymore, you swing using the D-pad. And it feels better than the power bar once you get used to the mechanic. Also in the air you can adjust the top or backspin of the ball, which is nice. Mario Golf Advance Tour is not just a simple golf game. No no, it has a story and it even has free roam. Yeah, free roam in a golf game on the GBA. The game follows two young players, Neil and Ella as they spend the summer at the Marion Country Club, improving their games, entering competitions and eventually facing off with the best golfer. Guess who the best golfer is? He's in the title. That's right, the Incredible Hulk. And as for the golf game, and as for the golf gameplay, because this is a golf game after all, not only an RPG, it's spot on. A very great golf game, with intuitive controls, great animations, which overall is a feast to play. Making it the best golf game on the GBA, it exceeds all expectations. Not only that you get a golf game that feels masterfully crafted, but you get free room and RPG elements in a golf game. How crazy is that? Compared to Mario Golf, the rest pale in comparison. Mario Golf is a masterpiece. You get what you expect, plus many more. The game is a masterpiece that is worth every penny